Today is Monday, October 27th. The city of Nampa wants to your input on what the area around the Idaho Center should look like. I'm Taylor Becker. And I'm Zoe Tuttle. A large lava flow on the island of Hawaii has put 50 homes at risk. We'll tell you about it. Your CSN News starts now. The city of Nampa is looking for ideas from the community as it starts to plan out the future of the area around the Idaho Center. Fast food and the College of Western Idaho surround the venue now, but city planners are looking ahead at what sort of homes and businesses should be allowed in and around the existing uh, businesses. Currently, farmland is a stone's throw from the Idaho Center. The city is asking the community to take an online survey about the Idaho C Center area. A citizen advisory group will use responses to develop a plan for how the surrounding land should be used. You could use the survey. You could you take the survey by going to www.cityofnampa.usa.us planning. Canyon County prosecutors plan to seek a mayhem charge against a 31-year-old Caldwell man suspected of biting a woman's ear off. The man was set to plead guilty to an aggravated battery charge on Friday, but prosecutors asked a judge to amend the charge because they said he didn't keep his side of the plea agreement. According to a report by the Idaho Press Tribune, the judge granted prosecutors' request to dismiss the battery charge. That allows prosecutors to amend the charge to mayhem with the sentencing enhancement of, for great bodily harm. Mayhem refers to unlawfully removing body part, body of somebody else's body. Ugh. Dozens of residents in a rural area on Hawaii placed on alert as flowing lava from an erupting volcano continued to advance. Authorities on Sunday said lava flow on the Big Island of Hawaii had advanced about 250 yards since Saturday morning and was moving at, the, at a rate of about 10 to 15 yards an hour, consistent with its advancement in recent days. The flow front passed through a predominantly Buddhist cemetery, covering grave sites in a mostly rural region of Puna. Officials told reporters during a late Sunday morning teleconference that the nearest home was at least 300 yards from the flow front. Residents in the nearest home said they could see the flow front from their balcony and prepared to evacuate when the time came. There were at least 50 to 60 structures, including homes and businesses, in the air most likely to be impacted. We'll be right back after these messages. The Idaho College Fair is coming up on Wednesday, October 29th from 8.30 to 11.30. If you haven't decided on what college to go to, it is a great way to learn more about colleges around the U.S. Seniors will need to ride the bus or be parent excused. If you want to go with your parents or alone, it is all day and there is an evening session from 6 to 8. If you haven't decided on what college to go to, it is a great way to learn more about colleges around the U.S. The Idaho College Fair on Wednesday, October 29th. First two tournaments of the season. Good. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Wellness starts with healthy teeth. See Dr. Keller today and give your mouth a fresh start. Today is high is 55, low 34, and occasional rain showers. Tomorrow's high is 61 and low 40. Members of the Columbia Speech and Debate Team captured five of the top 12 placements in Student Congress over the last couple weekends at the first two tournaments of the season. Additionally, Columbia had a total of nine Lincoln Douglas and public forum debaters post winning records. This year, our team has 65 members representing all grades. October and vampires may go together, but more important is the blood that the community, Columbia community can donate to those in need. The annual Fall Red Cross Blood Drive is coming to the auxiliary gym tomorrow. As always, seniors are the target audience as donors, but juniors and 16-year-old sophomores with paperwork are also eligible. Graduating seniors may also be eligible for a Red Honor Accord for helping slash donating. See Mr. Dion in room A101 if you're interested. Whether you fish or just want to learn how to, Fishing Club meets tomorrow after school at 3 o'clock in room A-235. This is your chance to learn and improve your technique. Also, girls soccer players, there will be a quick meeting after school today, Monday, October 27th, in D-103. Please be sure to be there. Morning Homework Club has started and goes Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. till 7.30. If you need help with your schoolwork, please attend. See Mrs. Riley or Mr. Diplock if you have any questions. This just in, starting today, food vendors will be back on campus. Domino's will be here during lunches Mondays and Wednesdays, Quadobas will be here Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Pita Pit on Fridays. Today's SAT word of the day is ailment, a noun that means indisposition, minor disorder of the body. You can use it this way. Because he was young and suffered from no ailments, Mr. Shizzle uh, Mr. Sigil was a great choice to be the fishing club advisor. That's your news. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on the Wildcat Wire. 